Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the 2020 edition again of Tractor Cab, aka Combine Cab Live. We are combining corn here in Northeast Iowa, southwest of Carnival here this afternoon, folks. Got a little bit of gooseneck tangle up stuff. I think everybody around Iowa's got some of that this year. We're running side by side. There'll be Ryan over Rockling right over there, seeing if we can raise each other who's going to get to the end of this row the fastest here, folks, today. Uh, kind of an odd week. Um, been first part of the week went really good here. Let's see, what day is today? Today's Wednesday. So Sunday was Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday went really well. Had a good productive weekend. Gobbled up a lot of acres, some of our flatter, better laying terrain. Um, on Monday, I believe we got snowed out about noon. Uh, snow in October is not uncommon here in Northeast Iowa. Come on through, Harold. Got some snow on the stocks, and then that started to run through the machine and wanted to plug up. So we had early quitting on about noon, one o'clock on Monday afternoon, and then by Tuesday morning, about nine, ten o'clock, the snow melted off, and we were able to rock and roll again. Uh, moved back over here. Looks like we were, we're about 40 miles from home over the weekend. We got moved back to about 15 miles from home. Kind of on the downhill slide of harvest here, folks. I don't say the downhill slide. Got about probably 25, 30 percent of the acres left to combine here. So really doing pretty well. Uh, my goal, my goal is always to be done by my birthday, the 15th of November. And I'd like to think, barring a really weird Mother Nature hickey, we should be able to achieve that this year. Uh, pretty much been all hands on deck on the harvest side of things here. We really have not done a whole lot of, you know, it's pretty much taking everybody I've got to get harvest done. Been doing a little bit of vertical tillage here, been getting some soil samples pulled here off and on as we've got some weekend help or some after hours help. My brother-in-law, he's a ag loan officer at the local bank, so he comes out after hours, pulls some soil samples, drives some tractor for me once in a while and does a few other things like that. Um, definitely some rolling terrain around here. We are in some definitely some hills some probably D, E, F slope, definitely some steep stuff. The combines we're running do have a side hill leveler under them. We are able to roll the machines 18 degrees in order to keep the machine level and keep the sieves and the crop flow going through the machine level. I'm gonna swing around here and grab a few of these gooseneck rows here that we managed to miss earlier, just some rows being twisted up whatnot all. In we go there. Kind of drive you crazy watching them rows go in crooked and cockeyed all day, but just kind of is what it is the story of having some gooseneck corn here this year. Um, by and large, harvest that has been going pretty good. Really can't complain. No major mechanical breakdown shy of our dryer motor taking a dump about two weeks ago. We got that reinstalled. Dryer's running really good now. Corn's coming out about 20% moisture, 103 day hybrid. Yields are fair for, I mean, Fair to good. The corn on corn, we're seeing a little bit of reduction in yields from years past. Most of the corn on the bean stubble, we're seeing relatively strong yields, you know, close to APH, if not a little better in certain instances. So definitely can't complain about the yields. The soybeans, we wrapped up over the weekend. Uh, not our pretty close to a record, maybe not quite a record, a couple bushel either side of a record from the soybean crop. So those are all tucked away in the bin for the most part. We did put a, send a few of them down to the grain terminal. I went on a barge and headed south to the export market. The rest of our beans are all non-GMO beans. So we got them stored. They'll be sitting in storage till April, May when the grain terminal calls up and says they want those delivered. Run along here, say the GS3, I'm the guy in blue. You can see in front of me, they were painting the picture in green. That will be the other machine right there. He's bubbling up, he's just about full there. We run Mauer hopper toppers on top of the combines, try and get a little extra capacity, give the grain cart guys a fighting chance to get back out here and catch us before we get the machines full. Running two grain carts here today, usually two grain carts pretty well keeps up in corn combines. There are two about 600 bushel carts. Uh, ideally, you know, a lot of people always ask me why we don't run just one big grain cart. The problem is where our topography here is probably only maybe a half a mile as a crow flies to get up to where the com the semis are sitting. Problem is it takes about a mile to get there. The two small carts, you know, one cart's always by the combines, one cart's always up by the semis unload. They just shuffle back and forth nice and easy all day long. Makes for a real easy peasy day for them to have one guy totally run his butt off and have the cart sit once in a while. So with that, I don't have a whole lot of other stuff going on here. They're talking for a chance of rain tonight. And honestly, as much as we don't like harvest delays, I would really go for and we're off the roll here. Thank you, down corn. We do run auto steer in the combines, both adaptive curves and all our contours. The auto steer is not always nuts on. 
like I said, talking some rain here tonight. I mean, I'll have three quarters inch through tomorrow. Really won't hurt my feelings a whole lot. We can definitely use the precipitation to get a jump start next year. Maybe make some of the fall tillage work a little bit better to have some moisture in the ground. And on the trucking side of the business, we've got a whole bunch of fertilizer to work on getting hauled. So we've got plenty of work to do for a couple guys if it would happen to rain here for a few days. So with that, I'm going to let you run over and out. Play it safe. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.